In this video, I'm just going to be showing what each uh, lockpick means and how to use it and all that. So, this one, uh, one of the main things, um, it's supposed to be a turning tool. Um, most of you put in here, and while the other one's in it, you just twist, and when you're putting it in, you pick all the locks. It should help you, um, you know, unlock it. Um, uh, if you ever have a lock that you simply put here and twist, and locks, you probably should not use that. That's the worst lock that you probably could ever use, except for the fake, fake ones. The ones they put in the small books. This is the second um, lock pick. Um, one of my favorites because it's super easy to use. Um, you put at the bottom where all the pins usually would be. You um, go all the way to the bottom. And you push down and pull out push down and keep on doing that if it doesn't lock as so while you're doing that probably means that you didn't get all the pins so you might want to do that again and then it should unlock now we have this one it's kind of like the last one that we just talked about um it's not too hard to use use the same way they just used it this may be like used for a bit easier and so put it in down Keep on going out while you push up to hit the pins. And of course, it should unlock immediately. If it doesn't, of course, you probably missed a pin. Dang it. Okay. And just like I said in my last video. And this next one is kind of like a turning tool, but it's a lot easier to use. Um, it's not exactly a turning tool at all. Um, some locks. I'm not sure if it works with every lock, so I don't have any other locks. But if I ever do get some, I will fill you guys in. Um, this one can put all the way in. You gotta turn it at an angle and twist. And sometimes, if you do that, it should open. Just like that. Okay, now, have those out the way, we have this one, one of my favorite locks, um, it's quite easy to make, um, you simply just put it in, wiggle, and it either shouldn't lock, and if it doesn't, then, you need to put it in this way, wiggle, take it out, put it in the other way. And wiggle then it should unlock but that's probably just because of the pins and they messed up or it has some kind of problem okay now we have this one um it's called the rake i really hate this one because well it all depends on the size i kind of i really don't like this one because the size so it's harder to you know unlock so yeah, yeah. So this one, of course, like I just said it's called the rake. Um, doesn't matter how you put it in. I like putting it in downwards, towards this, or you can do it like this. This way, I like doing it this way. But sometimes, if you do it like this, it may work. Most of the time, it probably will. My way is a bit more complicated. Um, but when you put this in, you gotta put it all the way down, and it should unlock it. I don't like like it that much at all if you ask me um and yeah this one yeah i don't really like the rake unless it's smaller so yeah mm, yeah so last one of all just have this one this is a turning tool too but this one is simply for a door so yeah and um i don't really like showing this on this one because it's, it's pretty hard so that one's supposed to be for a door and that was last pin um well not the last pin of one more on um, this one yeah it's used for the door so i don't really like using it on regular locks so i wouldn't suggest using it um 
probably one of my other videos I'll show how to unlock um the gatehouse door lock. Um this one I don't know if I had hidden. Kind of looks like it was hidden in the camera, but yeah. Um this one, it's kind of like all the other tools I showed you so far, but it's not exactly about wiggling. Um so you always want this side going down. And yeah, so you put it in. Of course, I showed you that you have to move all the pins. You see one pin right there. You want to push that one down. So yeah, once you push that one down, there's other pins behind it. I don't know if you can see that. So you go all the way in the back. And as deep down as you can go. You put one down. By pulling this up. Go back. And keep on doing that like I just showed you in all of them. And finally, once you do it, push down all the pins. Then it should eventually lock. Just like that. Sometimes I take a time. And yeah, I'm not a professional, but I just want to show you guys how to unlock a lock. And what all the pins are used for. So yeah, last pins, quite easy, not too hard, unless it's some super high security lock, but other than that, there you go.